Hi, my name is Miss Helmore and this is my statistical investigation data story for the topic EDUC 3625. The question that I investigated for this statistical investigation was, do Year 7 females get more sleep than Year 7 males? Before starting the investigation, I identified some key terms Sleep refers to the amount of hours the individual was asleep at night usually. It is recommended that a Year 7 student should get between 9 and 10 hours of sleep each night. All of the data was rounded to the nearest hour to ensure the accuracy of this investigation. I predict that Year 7 females will get more sleep than Year 7 males. The data for this investigation was collected from the Census at School random sampler. A sample of 100 Year 7 students 50 male and 50 female was collected. I chose this sample size because it provided a large enough sample but isn't too large that it will be too difficult to manage. To organise the data, I placed all the data into a table, one column with the female's data and one with the male. I then sorted it into ascending order using a feature on Excel. This allowed me to cut outliers to make the data more reliable and accurate. From this, I cut all data below 7 and above 13. This means that my beginning range being explored is 6, as 13 take away 7 is 6. I first created stem and leaf plots. This organised the data. It's very difficult to compare data from this, but it is a good tool to sort the data. From here, I summarised the data into this table. This allowed me to show the frequency of each category of hours of sleep in separate columns but still in one table. This table was then used to create the following graphs and plots. All graphs and plots were created using Excel. I first created two dot plots, one for each gender. These presented the data separately and allowed me to still draw some comparisons. From this I can see the female data has a larger spread and is more equal and within each category. So far I can also note that 10 hours of sleep appears to be the most common. This is also known as the mode. I then created a double column graph. I feel that this is most suitable and the best way to represent my data. This is because it allows me to easily compare the data sets in each category and is simple to view and understand. A sector graph was helpful in realising that the female data had a larger range and that 10 hours of sleep was the most common in both categories. To prove some of my predictions about the mode, medium and mean, I used the tools and formula on Excel to calculate them. This showed me that the mean, medium and range for females was higher than for males, but only slightly. From the graphs and the mean, it can be said that females do get more sleep than males, but only by a very small amount. However, as the data is secondary and we only used a sample size of 100, these results should be used with caution. Thank you for watching. Created using Powtoon.